Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Van Dyke again. Um, hope you're all doing well. I read the story Click Clack Moo Cows That Type to you last night, and I told you that I had another one by the same author and illustrator called Giggle Giggle Quack to read with you tonight. So here is my Giggle Giggle Quack. And again, it is by Doreen Cronin, and the pictures, the illustrator is Betsy Lewin. The publisher is Scholastic. That is the company that made the book. So, giggle, giggle, quack. Tonight, I want you to just listen again for characters and setting, but then um, tomorrow, we'll do another video, and we'll kind of talk about comparing the two books, Click, click, clack, moo, cows that type, and giggle, giggle, quack. And we'll kind of talk about how they were the same and how they were different. But tonight, we're just going to listen to giggle, giggle, quack, and again, listen for characters and the setting. Giggle, giggle, quack. By Doreen Cronin, illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother, Bob, in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be just fine, said Farmer Brown. But keep an eye on the duck. He can be trouble. Farmer Brown thought that he heard giggles as he drove down the lane. But he couldn't be for sure. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. And then he went inside. He read the first note. It says, Tuesday night is pizza night, not the frozen kind. The hens like anchovies. Giggle, giggle, cluck. Can you see what duck has in his mouth? Twenty-nine minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn for everyone to enjoy. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything seemed quiet and just fine. The next note was Wednesday. Wednesday is bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with the good towels. Remember, they have sensitive skin. Giggle, giggle, boink. Bob had all the pig washed, all the pigs washed in no time. The good towels. Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night just to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note? He asked. Done, replied Bob, counting the seven empty pizza boxes. And did you see the note about the pigs? All taken care of, Bob said proudly. 
And, and are you keeping a close eye on the duck? He asked. Bob gave duck a good long stare. And then duck was too busy to notice. He was sharpening his pencil. Just keep him in the house, said Farmer Brown. He is a bad influence, especially to the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo. Giggle, giggle, oink. Giggle, giggle, quack. Something up. Do you know what it is? Next note for instructions. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. <laughs> giggle, giggle, moo. Can you tell who's writing the notes yet? Bob was in the kitchen popping popcorn just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music. And the phone rang. And the only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, giggle, oink. Uh-oh. Farmer Brown yells, duck! Duck writes another note and says, phone's for you, Bob. And look at Farmer Brown. He's on his way home early from vacation. That's the end. What do you think of that story? Giggle, giggle, quack. That was a funny one, too. Can you tell who's writing the notes to Bob? Not Farmer Brown. I think Farmer Brown was right. Duck can be trouble. Keep a good eye on him. Okay. I hope you listened for characters. Make sure to tell mom or dad some of the characters that you heard in Giggle Giggle Quack. See if you can figure out the main character who the main character was in the story. That's the, who the story was mostly about. And the setting. Where did this story happen? That's kind of easy. But giggle, giggle, quack. Make sure to talk to mom and dad about the story. Maybe tell them your favorite part of the story. And you could even draw a picture of your favorite part and write about it. And then tomorrow, we'll take a look at both of our books, Giggle, Giggle, Quack, and Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type, and we'll talk about how they're the same and how they're a little different. Well, thanks for joining me for another story, boys and girls. Have a good night, and I hope you're all doing well. I miss all of you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.